Cultural Diversity Foundation provides job seekers with high quality job training for a diverse and inclusive workforce. And they are hosting the 27th Annual Educational Taste of Excellence Scholarship Benefit. Yeah, joining us this morning to discuss all about their mission and the event happening March 23rd is CEO Joni Flowers and Joel Ott, chef of Otomo and Joel's Chop House inside a Hearn Hotel. How are you doing this morning? Thank you for having us this morning. It's an absolute pleasure having you guys on. Before we get into the food and the event itself, what inspired the foundation? I started it 27 years ago and the inspiration was being able to, to provide scholarship opportunities uh, for high school seniors and currently enrolled college students. Now, Joni, we understand that this benefit is a scholarship event. Yes. So who is eligible to apply for these scholarships? Uh, high school seniors and currently enrolled college students, 3.0 GPA, must do community service and as well as provide letters of references, so all Clark County residents. And what can attendees expect when they when they come to the, uh, the oh event Oh my goodness. <laughs> we are going to have <laughs> yeah, yeah. oh, yeah. oh, we we going to have over one hundred varieties of wines and spirits. We have seventeen restaurants uh, participating as well as you'll be speaking to uh, Chef Joel. We'll have a live and silent auction and live jazz performed by Darren Matamity. Wow. Now Chef, we we've see we see some dishes here that look amazing. Kind mm -hmm. of walk us through what's going to be at this event. Well, I was uh, fortunate enough to be a part of this event last year. Uh, at the Aher Hotel, we had our restaurant Automo open, uh, which is kind of our Italian uh, food, pizza, pasta, things like that. Now, last year, we had another grand opening of our signature restaurant at the hotel, which is Joel's Chop House. So it's, you know, I, I get to be the chef of a couple of restaurants over there. So it's a very amazing opportunity for me to share what's going on. So this year we're going to be featuring both restaurants uh, and I got a couple of dishes from each. So And these will be at the event? These, these are the dishes that I'm serving from our booths over there. Perfect. So I got some Wonderful. beautiful, delicious things. So from Automo, we, over here we've got our 12 hour slow smoked pork belly, which is kind of done with a little barbecue mm. sauce, jalapeno aioli and some crispy onions. Mm. And I'm just now starting a new pizza that I'm going to put on the menu very soon over there, which is this one. It's our Detroit style pizza. I'm calling it the Automo Loaded Pan Pizza because when you get a whole pizza, it's going to have over a pound of toppings on it. Fresh cheese, mozzarella, provolone. This one's the cup and chive pepperoni. Amazing stuff. And then from our fine dining restaurant, Joel's Chop House, this is a Wagyu beef tallow confit short rib Hello, with, baby. with buttery mashed potatoes <laughs> and a little horseradish gremolata. And our lobster bisque, we're going to do in little shooters with a little lobster, brioche crouton, and chives on top. Oh, man. This is, I mean, that's just, and how many restaurants did you say were in attendance? 17. Guys, wow. this and then another 16 to, mm -hmm. to go on for as well. But it's not just that, you know, obviously it's a fundraising event, Absolutely. so we have auction items. Yes, we do. People love a good silent and yes. also live silent auction. And, silent and live auction. We're going to be off, um, auctioning off the Vegas Knights hockey sticks signed by all of the players. Wow. We have a big trip to uh, Barcelona, Spain that we're going to be offering off as well as Jamaica. We have jewelry, we have golf packages, we have staycations, everything for everyone who wants to participate. You guys have done this before. Yes, 27 years. <laughs> yes, that's right, that's yeah. right. Now, Chef, what is the significance about you being part of this event and this foundation's mission? Well, I met Joni, I don't know, maybe a year and a half ago or so, uh, at one of the wine tasting dinners yes. I was doing at the hotel, and she invited me to be a part of this, and it's just, for me, I love being part of the culinary community in Las Vegas, and I love being part of something that's doing, you know, good. It's a mm -hmm. uh, foundation that's just kind of helping people. So for me, it's it's about just being a part of the community and everything that this makes Las Vegas a great place to be. Yes. That's the other thing is, is you know, the connection, the community mm -hmm. connection, and uh, seeing everyone come together. Viewers at home watching right now who are taste buds are tingling yes. and uh, they're thinking about some of those auction items and just having a great time yeah. supporting a good cause. And we're expecting over a thousand people this year. Where is it being held? Westgate, Las Vegas, main ballroom, 6 to 10 p.m. on March 23rd. And tickets are still available? Tickets, tickets are still available online. Okay. Wonderful. And for, for people, if they cannot attend, can they join in the silent auction from afar? Elliot, that's an excellent question. Thank you. It is going to be online. It's going live and, and actually next week. And so you can bid online and not have to be at the event. Because those things are sometimes really fun because, yes. you know, not I'm guessing probably not the VGK hockey sticks, but mm -hmm. other items you might be, you know, you guys at home might love. Mm -hmm. And you can make a bid on it, keep Absolutely. an eye on it, and Absolutely. someone else might not be bidding on it. That's right. Trip to Barcelona, though, that's going to be. Uh, it's going to be awesome. Mm. Joni, what do you love about seeing the community come together for something like this? For me, I have the community coming together 
number one, it's in celebration of diversity, it's supporting our scholarship recipients, and it's also an opportunity for the community to come out and do some networking and just enjoying wine, spirits, and jazz. Well, if this yes. is a taste of what's to come, then everyone should be getting a side. And if, guys, you want to get tickets and for all other information on the Cultural Diversity Foundation, be sure to visit cdfnv.org.